Hey guys, welcome back. Uh, this is going to be video number two, but also video number one of this new series of open every single one of the first partner packs and fill out another binder full of them because got a sweet deal on them. Um, they're pretty awesome. I got the, the most important jumbo collector here with us. Fitz? Yes. He loves his jumbos. He's very excited for this. Um, I'm more excited for the packs that are within these. Hopefully there's some, some good packs. I know there was a lot of Sun and Moon base in the previous ones that I've opened. Uh, so hopefully not that, because I have that entire set. So unless we're just pulling, we're, we're going to see. But PSAPikachu.com, get some sweet deals. Um, do we? I guess we open the binder first, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. Make, it, better. make it official. I'm hoping there's some evolving skies in here. I'm going to keep the plastic for the binders, because I'm going to put them back. I remember the... it being, like, chilling and... Rebel yeah, probably that. Like I do that. need I need the Blaziken, so chilling is welcome. That's a sweet, sweet jumbo right there, that Pikachu. Yeah, mm -hmm. the Pikachu and the binders. The binders went on sale too, so I have a few extra of those binders with the Pikachu because they were like 10 bucks, and I had a bunch of jumbos that I needed to store. So, uh, yeah, I still need to stick a lot of them in there. But let's uh, let's get into the, the Jumbo-thon here. First one. Giant packs. Hopefully none of the, the jumbos are damaged. These chip bags of a booster pack really sketch me out. Yeah, oh, <laughs> those things are terrible. But uh, they seem I I haven't found any that have been beat up yet. So we got the original boys to go with the Pikachu. We got evolving. Well, you know skies. why they're not beat up? Wow! Look Sword at that. and Shield base. Yeah, the Sword and Shield base is weird. Marnie. So these, uh, that has to be an old one, I think. I think they they had a second wave of these. But uh, but yeah, I guess we're doing Evolving Skies first. Moonbrion yeah. needs to show up because I'm not paying $6,900 or whatever it is now. <laughs> it's just ridiculous. Yeah, that's, that's out of control. I'm not going to sell it <laughs> if I get one. Devo well, uh, to make you feel better, Ooh. I uh, opened an ungodly amount of Evolving Skies. Never pulled one. I pulled, but I also wanted I wanted the Sylveon anyways, and I pulled that yeah. first box. So. I think I pulled two or three of the the Umbreon V, but none of the V Max. I still need the Ray I as well. I like that one better than the V Max. I was happy to just have the V. I mean, I'm talking like a like like somebody that doesn't have a Moonbreon. So <laughs> I'm, I need that. I need to join the Moonbreon Club here. Turtonator, like Gengar. You just need to change your name to Ancient Mio and you'll find it. True. That is just, yeah. And, and again, he does have an Instagram. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Maybe by the time this video comes out, I'll have an Instagram. Yeah. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see what we got here. We got Gen 2, Totodile, Chikorita, Cyndaquil. A little top heavy Yeah. on these boys, but... It's cool that they they use the the rookie cards of all of these uh, same packs. All right, yeah. I'd be okay if they were all this. Yeah, um, that's I have, a pretty good deal. I think I have everything expensive from Sword and Shield base, like the gold nice. dogs. Mm -hmm. I bought those the, that set strictly to try and pull Marnie. Never got one. Oh, I forgot the Marnie was in here too. I'm a little sour with that set, honestly, because of how much I opened. Chin Chow, Chin Chu for Miles. Knock Towel. All right, these packs are not producing yet, but it's okay. They can at any point. Is that uh, the Moonbreon pack? Is that a sign? Umbreon artwork? Better odds? Hmm. No. Oh, we got a. Maybe. <laughs> Drowsy. Flabebe, a rug and roller. Gigalith. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. It's okay. Like, product that, like, is really cool, but, like, it was kind of geared more towards younger collectors. Um, maybe. Well, you can hang all these jumbos up on your wall. You're good. There's the Ultra Mudkip Trico and a Torchic. You could hang them on your wall, or... Yeah. You can put them in a binder that they're designed to go in. You know I do like my binders. 
But if I'm an eight year old kid, oh wow. There's the Sunday Moon base. All right, so I guess, I guess we're just hoping for Hyper Umbreons in Sun and Moon base because yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Was there was the S was the Espeon in there too? I think Espeon is in there too. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's been a while since I opened a Sun and Moon base pack. Hariyama, we got a Decidui GX. All right. Yeah. I I cracked a Sun and Moon base ETV with you guys like a month or two ago, and it just had nothing in it. It was so brutal. There's, uh, it's pretty hard to hit anything that's. Valuable. I think I, I also one card that just said you IGF there. Ooh, cast form for Adam. Oh, there you go. With a chilly willy. <laughs> We got an old cemetery and a rune rigus. So pulling hollows okay. out of this at least. Um, yeah. All right, let's shift these bad boys over. Next gen. Do you guys have a favorite? Mm. Twitch way. Twitch way. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I think maybe I'd pick pick pip up. Most of these starters that are my my favorite are the uh, the grass type, but I, I did start I did start with Simshar. Oh, so you're a fire selector, chilling rain, sun and mm. moon base, hyper rare. Let's see it. Yeah, I bought all the uh, the hypers that I was missing from these early sun and moon sets because they were dirt cheap. Probably still are. Makahita, Paris, Reverse, Primarina. All right, Sun and Moon Ooh. Base is the only thing that's hitting. That's what happened in the uh, the first one of these sets that I uh, that I opened. The first the first ones actually I I uh, like every time a new first partner pack came out, I would just keep it, put it to the side, and then I opened them all at once. These I just straight up bought them all at once. But uh, yeah, it was Sun and Moon Base popped off mega hard for some reason. Because I didn't need any other cards. <laughs> Shup it! <laughs> Wall rain. I want the friggin' Blaziken and the Moltres. Yeah, that Blaziken's getting expensive. Yeah, it's a little scary. I think they both spiked recently. And you gotta go with Snivy here. Yeah, Snivy, definitely. Tepig and Oshawa. Although in the anime, Oshawa yeah. is the, the best. Yeah. He's got the most personality. All right, what do we got? Battle styles? All right, Sleepy T. Still need a Sleepy T. So that would be nice. This is like a great excuse for me to open more Chilling Rain and Battle Styles. Dude, but I am loving the, these jumbos. Yeah, We've like got this. a great, great selection of packs in these. Ooh, something in Sun and Moon. Fomantis, Litten, Tauros Ooh. GX. GX cards are so holographic, they like definitely throw you off when you yeah, see the edge. They're, of... they're very mm -hmm. shiny. Alright, Battle Styles, Styles, Sleepy T. Come on. Well, that was a good rub. I'm feeling it. Rubbing, and rubbing them straight to sleep. Baltoy, something shiny. Ponyard, Blipbug, Spiro, and a Rapid Strike oh, Urshifu. No. All right, we're getting all the V's and the GX's out of the way. What is this? Eight, eight packs. Eight jumbo packs with two packs each. 16, 16 for the video. Open this bag of potato chips. Yeah. I'm going, I'm going, I'm going frog, man. Definitely more robust than those things. You're going frog, man? I like Fennec. Like froggy. Yeah, I go with Fennekin, but yeah, I go with Fennekin. Delphox is cool. More styles of battle. You guys were doubting my Sun and Moon. There's a lot of Sun and Moon in the oh, yeah. ones that I opened, and apparently in these as well. I opened Fometis. more Sun and Moon base in, in Japanese than I did mm. uh, in English. All right, battle styles. Come on, sleepy T. Any time now. Gotta dance around the Marisha first, though. We're ready for it. 
I don't think I pulled so many Urshifus ever in my life. <laughs> There's a lot of a lot of Urshifus in that set. Girder and a Sandaconda. Mm. That Sandaconda looks so much like the alt. Uh, like yeah, I mean, it kind of always just looks like that. There's a there's a GameStop promo that looks very similar to that too. All right, we're on to Sun and Moon. I like Sun and Moon. The games were too easy, but yeah, they were really easy. I like the characters. I like a lot of the Pokemon. Uh, in this case, I'm picking Rowlet. Mm, great. I'm going Rowlet too, just because. I like I the love situation. Litton, but I don't want some weird bipedal cat with abs as a. <laughs> you don't want it to it can wrestle you to sleep no <laughs> that, the furries can he can, they can have it meowth of the alolan variety permarina wishy washy crying rare candy raquinid and a code card all right come on battle styles okay. this one's wrinkly so you know it's got a sleepy tea in it Oh, yeah. Those, dormant for a while. Those nice wrinkle lines on it. Alright. Sleepy T. Sleepy T. Sleepy T. We gotta keep in mind here that uh, none of these sets have trainer gallery. Mm -hmm. So that is not gonna save us. Man, I, yeah, I, I absolutely I hate this card so much. Trainer gallery is definitely a bit of a crutch. <laughs> Trainer gallery is is a little bit of a crutch. Not to mention all the you got no amazing rares or anything like that to save us either. Yeah, they really dropped it like it's hot when it came to amazing rares. Um, with these three, I don't know. I guess I think the Sobble Sobble line maybe. Score bunny mm. all the way. Till the end I was about to, I was about to say score bunny as well. But I don't. I don't. It's, it's, it's mainly because I don't like. I think they don't like going up against Sobble. Ooh, vivid Voltage. Neat. Ooh. Be interesting to see in the end. There's uh, nine more of these videos coming. If we get the same packs in all the same places. Zubat. The, even the reverses, oh, the shine ooh, on it is wild. Shiny. I know. Ooh, we got the yeah. uh, Doug Trio with the hair on it. <laughs> Triple. So much Bob better. Trio. Puka Muku. Hey, that Puki Muku is, uh, is uh, one of the artist cards in my binder. I know that little baddie. Do you have one? Yeah, I think I have a few of them. All right, Vivid Voltage to finish it off. Make sure you guys go to PSAPikachu.com on the regular. Check out what they have for sale, what they have for pre-orders. Make sure you join the mm -hmm. Discord. And make sure this is a hyper chew. Yeah, chocolate chew coming. Ferrothorn. It's a Don fan. All right, it's not, but you can still join the Discord. Um, that was not the, the qualifying factor. All right, see you next time for more jumbo action. Bye.